I'm going to add a quick way to track the progress of each of these steps by going to insert drop down and then I have some default presets that I can use. You can preview them. I'm going to go to project status and then adjust this accordingly. So I'm going to go for completed. I can then select this, copy it, and then just go ahead and paste it and then change these accordingly. So that looks good. If I want to create a custom drop down, I can go to insert drop down and then just go on new drop down and then edit things accordingly. So custom color, custom titles, you can add different options as well. Just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to save this as it is. It will also just add it here. If you want to then delete this and go to drop down, it will show my custom drop down and I can go to edit. Now it will only let me edit what I have, but it won't let me delete it. This is because I need to actually remove all reference to this custom drop down first. So if I just delete this, go back to insert drop down, and then go back to editing this custom preset, it will then allow me to delete the template itself. And there we go. Super simple.